What's up everybody, this is Trey here at 615B Slime Bullies. Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about paperwork and what I do. What I do may be way different from other breeders and may be way different from your favorite breeder and may be way different from other um, individuals in general. But I'm going to tell you all what I do about paperwork and how I go about doing it right after the intro. As y'all can see, man, we got all the little heathen children down here. <laughs> y'all can see, man, they've been having fun all night. They've been having a party in here. Now they're sleepy. Look, they want to sleep during the day and they want to be up all night. What are you looking at, boy? Why are you walking up on my camera? <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, man, they want to sleep all day and be up all night. Party animals. You bite my camera. I'm talking about they had me up all night. They was in here wrestling and doing all type of carrying on and all that type of stuff, so but everybody's doing everybody's doing great man. I know I keep giving y'all updates, but Pretty sure y'all came to my channel to see puppies anyways. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna hate to get rid of these people. Except this little dude, he's staying. You're staying. You're staying. You're staying. Now he need to go to sleep. Look at him dozing off. I told you, man, they be up all... They be up all night and sleep all day. Get up, boy. Get up. <laughs> If you sleepy, go to sleep. <laughs> he tired, man. But, um, yeah. This is our little keeper male. Everybody keep asking me what male is for sale. This one right here. This one is for sale. This is the male right here. The tri male. You know what I'm saying? Get my finger out your mouth. But, yeah, this tri male right here. He's the one for sale. He's really tired right now. I'm going to wake him up. Hold on. Let me see if I can wake him up, y'all. Because he's trying to act tired on camera. He know he ain't really tired. Get up, boy. Get up, y'all. I like making him mad. Come here. Yeah, him. He's he's for sale. The, the try right there. Look at him. He waking up now. Look at him. Yeah, um... That's one of the ones for sale. And I got this female right here for sale as well. You can see. It's my keeper male. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere either. That, like, this has been going on all night, I'm telling you. And now they want to stop because I called them out on it. But, uh... Okay, guys, I want to tell you guys that all my dogs are UKC registered. Every last one of them, you know what I'm saying? I got a book. These are everything I keep. I keep all files. I keep everything that has to do with my dogs. You know what I'm saying? Every last one of them. Keep going. This is a microchip from my girl Dutch. Microchip number and everything like that. And I do keep these. A lot of people throw these away for UKC. But I, I like to see who my dogs are going to. I like to, you know what I'm saying, document it, and you know what I'm saying, I was doing this even before they sent me this, so um, I used to write every, all the documents and everything on notebook paper, so, um, and these are all the pictures that I had last litter, my first litter, all pictures of dogs that, you know what I'm saying, so I can identify them, you might see a dog one day and say, hey, that's mine, you know what I'm saying, that's one of mine that came from my yard, but, um, yeah, these are mine, we got Big Herd. We got, um, ah, I forgot a name, Dior, and we got Maverick right here, my top three, and Baby Dutch will be on here, but I already got her, so I already know, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, Black China UKC registration, uh, Baby Dutch UKC registration, and, uh, so on and so on, but, uh, 
like I was saying, all my dogs, the point is all my dogs are UKC registered. Um, the turnaround time for UKC, I do my things differently here. Um, I don't send from my papers as soon as the do as soon as the puppies hit the ground. I don't send for them right then. I like to make sure everybody's healthy and everybody's gonna be, um, you know what I'm saying, gonna make it. I don't like stressing about when my papers are gonna come when I'm already stressing about keeping the litter alive. You know what I'm saying? It's just too stressful, so I'd rather just do everything one at a time. So now that I got the healthy part out the way, getting a healthy litter, then I'll send for the papers later. You know what I'm saying? Send for the papers um, like this time, I'm doing it at um, this Friday. I'm gonna send for the papers this Friday. I like to make sure they're at least four to five weeks old before I send for the papers so I can know everybody's guaranteed healthy and I don't have to worry about um, when my, like I said, I don't have to stress over when my papers are gonna come just because um, already um, the healthy part is out the way. I don't want to stress about both things at one time. So I got the healthy part out the way. So now I'm just gonna worry about the papers. You know what I'm saying? Um, UKC is pretty good about sending me my papers. The only thing I don't like about UKC is they are, they take forever. You know what I'm saying? Papers take forever. So I could sell somebody a dog, but a dog ain't gonna have papers yet. But I'm the papers are currently coming in. That's why they won't have them because the papers are coming in. Um, but I'm definitely good about getting people their papers. I want to be a responsible breeder. I want to be, uh, you know what I'm saying? I just don't, I want to be very responsible with this. So um, definitely I, I get people their papers. Uh, but for the most part, it takes about three to four weeks, maybe six, to get all the papers back. You know what I'm saying? To get the little... Uh, you know what I'm saying? The little certificate back so you can fill out the papers on your own and you send them back in. It's a process. But um, like I was saying though is, uh, yeah man, I don't do my stuff like everybody do theirs. I like to have mine. And mine are, and mine are registered under American Bully. They're not registered under American Pitbull Terrier. Like some people, no, I'm not throwing shots at nobody. If that's what you like, go ahead. But some people register their dog as American Pitbull Terrier when they're American Bullies. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of extinguish the difference. But... I'm only working with UKC for this last litter, then I'll be switching over to ABR or USBR or BBOA. Um, just because I feel like those are more comfortable for me. They take exotics. Um, that's just what I'm doing. But uh, other than that, man, that's all I had to say about the paperwork. Uh, is if, if you buy a dog from me, you might not have the papers up front. But I, I promise to God, I will definitely get you your papers. I'm a responsible breeder. I'm not one of the ones that just say they're going to get you something and then don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can actually get sued for that. If you didn't know that, you can actually get sued for that unless you write out a contract, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to contract on all these puppies, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is a little four minute video about paperwork. Uh, Trey Verona, six on five, B-Sign Bullies. Thank you guys so much.